Hey, hey, folks, it's any guy. And oh golly, kiddos, it's another review of a demo. And this time I bring you Trepang 2. Uh, just don't ask me where Trepang Where is Trepang 1? <sighs> I hate you so much. Anyways, Trepang 2 is best described as Fear on Steroids. And if you've ever played Fear, you know just how fast, smooth, and brutal the gameplay actually is. But for Trepang, the devs went with the most sensible choice and doubled it all. But before we get further into the gameplay, what is the story of Trepang 2? Well, as you can imagine, from a demo we don't have a lot of info. Still, we already know that there is gonna be a slight paranormal aspect, just like in Fear. Only this time it's shown by the player's abilities, and by a strange enemy type that only shows up in a secret level, uh, but I'll get to that in a bit. But what really makes this game stand out from its inspirations is the abilities that the player has. You got re- uh, yeah, I mean slow-mo. And a predator like camouflage that can be used in the heat of battle to throw enemies off your track. Yes, Fear already had slow mo, but camo changes up the gameplay enough for it to be its own thing. You might not think it does, but with the existence of camouflage, it possibly gives way to stealth sections like the one in the beginning when you don't have any weapons. It also lets you tackle fights in a more open and free way and lets you back out of set fights whenever you want. There is also slide move, and while it has been used in countless games before, including fear, it is even more fun in here, mostly because of the godly ragdoll physics that make the combat feel that much better. Nice car. As for weapons, they all feel good, uh, but certainly not as good as the ones in Fear. They have a selection of two assault rifles, the Croatian VHS-2 and the uh, same rifle but with a suppressor... Uh, okay. These two are really inaccurate longer distances and that kind of pisses me off. But moving on, you also have the Chris Vector SMG, a pistol, and the start of the show, the pinnacle of FPS, the shotgun. This shit can tear through asshole and it bags for more. I actually think it's better than one in fear, or at least it feels a lot more powerful. Take that back. Oh, oh hey Alma, haven't seen you in like uh, forever. Shut the fuck up and take back what you said. Nah. But besides the campaign, there are also two horde maps. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's horde mode, it just gets repetitive after a while. In all honesty though, the map where they give you the silence pistol is pretty cool. Since it's like playing a Metal Gear game but without the Kojima parts. Which is good or bad depending on how you look at it. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Hello, base department? Now to the things that I think the game doesn't do as well. Remember that I said that there was a secret level when you finished the demo? Well, it isn't bad by any means, but uh, you can see that it's really rough around the edges and kinda dumb. Basically, to get through some doors you have to press these switches, and there's zero indication to it. Fucking rough! It really is rough. But then again, this is a demo, and what's here will most likely change. To be honest, this map does throw a good curveball your way. Like this bizarre enemy type that looks like it's made out of, uh... I don't even fucking know, fucking chocolate? These guys are a bit stronger and a lot more unpredictable than the normal soldiers. Which shows that there's probably gonna be some sort of enemy variety besides just soldiers. Also, it's kinda not well optimized. I can't get a constant 60 FPS on it. It's not like I have the best PC in the world, but it's no slog. Still, it's not like this game runs poorly. I just noticed some sudden FPS drops. They didn't really cause me to die or anything, but I did have to scrap at least two hours of footage because it was so choppy. You have no clue how miserable it has been for me to make this video. Okay, this one isn't a bad thing per se, but it's weird as fuck. And I haven't seen anyone else mention it before. There's these files with floor tidbits, some are kind of boring while others are actually kind of interesting. But there are three of them that are genuinely odd, and it's these ones. 
This makes me think if this is an ARG, an alternative reality game, or if this company exists and devs just put it in by mistake or the company is sponsoring them. Because the website is totally real and to be honest, I don't have the time, energy or even the interest in calling or emailing them to, to finding out. When it's all said and done though, the game shows a lot of promise. It's fun, fast, and the best sequel with the fear we've ever gotten. And that's a big plus for me. It is kinda early to give it a permanent score, but for now I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It does need some polish that I hope it gets when it comes out, uh, but like I said, it's really fun. You can download the demo on Steam and add it to your wish list if you think this is your kind of game. But keep in mind that there is no release date just yet. But well, that's it. Uh, see ya. You know the drill. Here's the game. Make a video. I don't fucking care at this point. Can you just stop? and tell me why I'm here. It's been almost a goddamned year and I still don't know jack shit. Just make a video or the boss will get angry at me again. Wait, 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 wait. The boss?